everyone, Spirit of Haunting here once again, and today I'm back with another review. And for today's review, I'm going to be reviewing Cool Catfish. Um, this is my last singing fish that I have currently, so don't worry. You're not going to see any more of these, unless I get a new one, which I hope I do. But anyways, as you may recall, this is the Cool Catfish that was seen in my cool catfish repair video the one that had the split nine tooth gear and the split head head, whoa, head paddle and i replaced both of those and he now works great um everything moves on him i do not have the box for him i got him from goodwill for two or three dollars i think and like i said before nothing was working so he is now in perfect working condition except for the mouth You'll see in the video, but only half of the mouth seems so like only this half of the mouth seems open. Also, I do not have the adapter. Let's get right into the cosmetics. So this is one of the newer singing fish. Um, and by newer I mean it's on one of the smaller round plaques. The plaque itself is a black matte, it's not glossy, with a cool catfish nameplate. So this is the version that has cool catfish, like the nameplate. This is also the version that sings Bad to the Bone compared to the wrapping version. He has motion sensor down here, the red activate or try me button. And there's a wood texture on the base. Of course, it's still plastic. The fish itself is an overly large catfish on a plaque. And I'm not kidding, it's really big. You can see the tail comes all the way off here. It's mostly gray uh, with a little bit of darker gray on the tops, tops on the top, and on the back tail fin. On the front, we have multiple whiskers and the teeth in the mouth. And there's um, green on them, probably to illustrate seaweed as catfish are normally bottom feeder fish. He also has two eyes to make it realistic, because if you didn't, then it's not realistic. Let's take a look at the back. On the back, of course, we have the stand, uh, the switch with two modes, off and on, on being sensor, battery compartment, it takes four AA batteries, speaker, and the slots to hang them. This particular version um, sings bad to the- whoa! Like I was saying before I dropped him, he has 20 phrases and sings a little bit of bad to the bone. I'm not entirely sure what all of the phrases are, even though I've heard them all before, but I don't know word for word what they all are. So I'm going to demonstrate now and get as many of the phrases in as I can. Come on, buddy. Help me get out of here. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to eat the bad worm. Don't look at me that way. Something smells fishy around here. You can do it at the end. So I'm pretty sure that's most of them, if not all of them. And um, yeah, as you saw, he works great. Head comes all the way out, tail moves, and he did none of that when I first got him. Um, if you're wondering how I fixed him, I replaced the nine tooth gear with one I found off of eBay. 
and I replaced the head paddle with um, head paddles from the Hanmeister, if I'm saying that right. You can check out his Flickr um, and send him an email if you need uh, head paddles. They work great. They're actually 3D printed, not like the Jemmy ones where they're probably molded, but I'm not positive. So they are much higher quality than the Jemmy ones. Also, as a side note, when I was trying to prepare him, the motor wire fell off twice. So that was interesting. It just added to the repair. It wasn't hard to fix. I just had to solder it back on, but it was um, kind of frustrating. And that's about it for this review. Hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.